Hey guys, so uh, in my previous video, I was talking about how that was the last time my uh, Cena Outrush R modular helmet um, was going to be in the original state. And I was going to tell you in this video uh, what all I was going to do to it. So I'm actually over here at Southern Thunder in South Haven, Mississippi. Uh, my motorcycle is getting some new tires put on it. And it is actually right over there. Um, it's behind that trike. It's that black road glide up on the lift right now. So hopefully they get me done here in a little bit. Um, but back to the helmet. So this video is going to be a little bit more about the cons of the Cena Outrush R, um, more about who it's for and definitely who it's not for and why if I had a different, um, if I had go, gone back and if I would make the same decision, why I would do something different. So the reason why I originally bought the Cena Outrush R was for me and my wife. I bought a pair of the helmets and it was so that we could talk um, while she was riding passenger. And when you have a pair of these helmets, they work great. They work flawlessly. You can connect via Bluetooth to your phone. You can listen to music through the helmets. You can talk to each other. Um, you can't do both at the same time. You can either listen to music or talk. It does pause your music while you're on the intercom mode. Um, but it advertises that you can connect to three other riders with the same helmet, okay? So if it's you, a passenger, or you and another rider, or just you and three other friends that have the exact same helmet, it connects flawlessly, it works great. Who this helmet isn't for is if you are riding with a larger group of people, say four or more, or just anybody else who doesn't have the same intercom system, then this, this original helmet is not for you, um, which is what I ran into. My friends that I mostly ride with, they run Cardos, so that's what I wound up going with was the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. And this is the black one and you're just paying for it to be black and it also has 45 millimeter um speakers not sure if that makes a big difference over the 40 millimeter or not couldn't tell you haven't had the regular 40 millimeter so um the cena outrush r does say that it can connect to other non-branded cenas um we got that to work one time Maybe, actually two times. It was a pain in the butt. The con to doing that is you lose your phone capabilities. You lose your um, ability to take calls and listen to music through it. Because essentially, when you connect to a Cardo or a Cena from, from that other helmet, is it is taking the slot of your mobile phone connection. It is treating the PacTalk Bold like it's a mobile phone when it connects. So yes, I could talk to others um, in my writing group, but I couldn't take any other phone capabilities. And I had static on my end and it was really buggy. It was dropping, it was cutting in and out. It just was not as expected as if I had bought a Cardo or a Cena and attached it to the helmet. Now, the shell itself, I really don't have any complaints about. It is about a medium on the noise scale, it's not it's not super quiet like the Shelby's. It is quieter than my HJC, which is like super loud. So this is probably about a medium. Um, I like the sun visor in it. I use the sun visor all the time. It has a real positive engagement. We move it up, it will click into place. We move it down, it clicks into place so it doesn't fall. Um, so this video is like I said, go over that and what I had to do to take the the built-in Cena out and put this one in. So if you're a person who's already installed any kind of, mod any kind of um, intercom system into your helmet, then you're pretty familiar with it. Uh, this was pretty easy. I just had to take out the cheek pads, which these just snap out um, if you've ever had your helmet apart. And you can see the speaker right in there. Now, I had to take this little piece out, which holds this cheek styrofoam in. And because these are the 45 millimeter uh, speakers, uh, the hole in the styrofoam was a little too small. So all I did was take a Dremel tool, made the hole a little bigger, dropped them in just fine. And you see my little painter's tape holding the wire. And of course I ran the wires through this. 
okay? I'm not worried about sacrificing the integrity of the helmet because all I did was just make that a little bit bigger um, to put the speaker in, okay? So, now, the built-in Cena part was screwed in with three screws. I had to go in through this side, take the styrofoam out, unscrew three, and that Cena dropped right out. I had to take the boom mic out and replace it with the Cardo boom mic. Other than that, everything's pretty self-explanatory. This is the first Cardo system I've had. I really like it just because, like I said, it works flawlessly um, with my group of friends. We automatically connect. It uses the DCM, the dynamic mesh technology, which means it daisy chains with your riders. So I can talk to whoever's in the back of the line. The back of the line can talk with me. If we change positions, we, it just, it changes the daisy chain. Um, I can listen to music and talk at the same time with this headset. Um, I can take phone calls with the headset. I mean, everything you expect with a Bluetooth intercom headset, this does. I do like that this has the basic phone functions like your smartphone. So when you say, hey Siri, when you say, okay. Sorry about that. I, when I said, you know, the, the, the words to activate Siri, it actually activated it. So, um, but when you use those words, it, it, the Cardo will repeat the words and it activates your phone and you can give it whatever command. So also you can give it commands like, hey Cardo, volume up, hey Cardo, volume down, hey Cardo, answer. Um, so it's got pretty intuitive voice commands that I like. Um, and I think it's a little bit louder than the built-in Cena part. So basically, if, had to, if I had to go back and do this over again, um, do I think this is a bad helmet? If you're about going by a pair of them and all you're going to do is talk to you and another person or you and another rider? No, I think it's perfect for that. I think it's perfect if that is your need, that is your expectation, spot on. If you're like me and you are wanting to talk with other people who have other headsets, such as the Cardo, or you're wanting to talk with more than four people and maintain your phone capabilities, it is not for you. Had I, could I go back and would I do this all over again? Absolutely not. I would actually just buy a better helmet, a better modular helmet, a quieter one, such as the Shoei, and I would have bought the Pack Talk Bold separate and installed it. Um, which is what my friend was trying to get me to do. I didn't listen to him. I was at Harley. I was like, oh, this has a built-in Cena headset. This is cool. Now I can talk to my wife and I can talk to you guys, blah, blah, blah. We got to work two times. It was really buggy. I wish I listened to my friend. I wish I bought a better helmet and just installed it. But now that I have gone this route, it's not a bad helmet. I mean, now that I've gone this route and I've already put all this money into it and already jerked out the built-in Cena headset and threw it away, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, not necessarily stuck with a helmet, but I'm definitely going to get more. I'm definitely going to use the helmet as long as I can before I have to buy another helmet. So anyways, like I said, this was going to give uh, a little bit more review as far as the cons of the helmet, who it's for, especially who it's for. And if I had to do it over again, I would not have gone this route. Like I said, I would buy a better helmet and attach the Cardo separately. So I hope that helps some of y'all. It is not bashing the Cena Outrush Modular R. I think it's a good helmet as long as you know what your expectations are with it and what you're using it for. So thanks for watching, guys.